What is up, my beautiful Scorpio fam? It's your girl, Gemma Jade, and I am here to read your Oracle cards for the month of September 2021 and through the end of August. I believe that Oracle, like Tarot, is timeless. So if this doesn't resonate right now, be on the lookout from now until like the next three months. But I am going to be with you every single month doing this for you. I've been reading Oracle cards privately and learning about them for a really long time now, and I'm just being compelled by the universe to do this once a month for each zodiac astrological reading i do believe that oracle goes right along with astrology so you are watching this because your scorpio is your sun is in scorpio i would also really suggest watching your moon and rising signs as well this is for scorpio sun moon and rising if you don't know what that means i'll give you an example i am a pisces sun a libra moon and an aries rising so when I watch my astrology, my tarot, and my oracle cards on YouTube, which I do pretty much every day, at least once a week when I can, I always watch Pisces, Libra, and Aries, and it really does complete the full picture for me. Also, this is a general reading for Scorpios. Obviously, it's not going to resonate with every single Scorpio that watches this. Not all of it anyway. So please take what resonates, leave the rest behind. And also take it as it resonates. Oracle, just like tarot, is meant to impel, not compel. So you are going to have to get out and do the work. This, these messages are from the universe, the cosmos, our spirit guides, our spirit animals, our angels, and basically just spirit in general. So let's see what the universe has to say to you, Scorpio. And if you decide you want a personal reading with me, my email information will be in the description box. This is messages for Scorpio for the month of September 2021 and through the end of August. All right, let's see what we've got. Whoever needs this message will, in fact, get it. I'm sure of it. And I'm covering every single sign, so you can check your moon and rising sign in with me as well if you'd like. All right, let's take a look, Scorpio. Druid, hold on to space. Shaman, trust in higher forces. And snake, could be dealing with a Gemini. Shed old skin. Druid, hold the space, hold things together. Don't make any sudden moves or changes. Stand strong, knowing you are where you are supposed to be. The Druids were the ancient wise ones of the British Isles. They had a deep connection with the earth, the sun, and the moon. They were the scholars who created the Ogham tree language, and they were known for their creative skills in storytelling, poetry, and craftsmanship. When the Druid card appears in a reading, you're being guided to dig deep within and hold your station. If you're wondering what to do next or have a sense of anxiety about what is unfolding in your life, it's time to shift your perceptions and move back to a state of trust. Don't change your plans or do anything drastic. Just trust in the process and let everything happen as it needs to before taking any more steps. Think of a tree. It has strong roots yet continues to grow and bear fruit. Your life will be a reflection of this. So what I'm getting intuitively from the Druid card for you, Scorpio, is that, and just know every time I pull these cards, there are different intuitive messages, despite the book always being the same. So that's kind of what I do here. So with the Druid, you need to really stand your ground. Someone is trying to push you in a direction that you don't want to go. Like kind of when your parents want you to like, you know, go to college right after high school, but you want to, you know, explore the world first. That's just an example. I mean, somebody is trying to kind of mold you into what they want and push you in a direction. Say um, it could be a business situation where you are ready to start a business, but you're, you want to go one way and your partner wants to go the other and they're trying to persuade you. Someone is trying to persuade you of something that is not in your highest good or interest, not in your best interest. I don't think this person is trying to guide you this way because it's not in your best interest. Like they're not trying to screw you over Scorpio. I think they're just kind of looking out for themselves and also thinking that they are guiding you the right way. You need to really stand your ground. You know what it is you need. You know what it is you want and you're intuitive enough to know where the universe is guiding you. So please trust your intuition at this time. There is going to be a time to move forward and kind of shed old skin and move on. 
but right now for the end of August and September, now is not the time. Don't make any drastic changes. Don't, you know, quit your job. Don't quit school. Don't nothing drastic, no major moves, no major relationship changes, none of that. And let's see if we can get a little deeper when we look in with the shaman here. Trust in higher forces to guide the way before you make any moves, right? Trust in your angels, guides, and ancestors. If you have given your power away, claim it back. I'm getting a codependent relationship intuitively. On the inner planes, all of the shamans of time have gone by are helping the human race to understand the complexities of life and the needs of Mother Earth. Many are working as spiritual guides to light workers and light warriors. The shaman card brings the energy of your shaman guides to you. Shamans believe that when there was illness or disease, it was because a person's power had been left behind somewhere or a negative pattern had installed itself within them. In trance, they would travel to the underworld to recall this power and remove the quote unquote demon. If this card comes to you, it's because you need to do some release work with lower energies or with your lack of trust in the spiritual energies that are guiding you. The shaman will aid you in your quest. There are spiritual allies working in your favor and the mir their miracles will unfold much more easily when you move into a state of trust. So call back your power and stop allowing external forces to divert you from the miracles you deserve. Hand over all of your concerns to your spiritual allies. When you do so, you allow them to send your intuitive guidance and messages that will allow you to correct the situation and come out on top. The shaman card also shows that you have shamanic potential to move between the realms and connect with your guides in an extremely personal way. Yeah. So not making any sudden moves because a person is trying to make you. I'm getting a very codependent relationship here, Scorpio, where someone is trying to control you. It could be you doing the controlling. I mean... I really get that it's someone else though. And it doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. Again, it could be business, familial. It could be a friendship, whatever the case may be. It could be your flipping neighbor. I don't know. But there's somebody who, there's this codependency here that you can't seem to shake. And you're not thinking clearly because of it. This other person has such influence over you for whatever reason. And you're not trusting enough in your intuition and your spirit guides. You know how to meditate and call on them. You know, a lot of Scorpios being a water sign tied with the emotions and um, the mysterious, right? So we are really into this kind of stuff for the most part, depending on your chart. But this is telling you, do not make any sudden moves. You need to start meditating, do yoga, just spend some time out in the fresh air, Mother Earth, in the water, right? If you live by the beach, now would be the perfect time to go and put your feet in the sand, in the wet sand, and just dig in under the moonlight, you need to pay very close attention to your intuition and trust in yourself. When you hear a voice in your head telling you to do something or not to do something, listen to that voice. Do not listen to a human being, right? You have a lot of powerful energy behind you right now. The druid, the shaman, you're becoming the snake, getting ready to shed whatever this is. But for right now, please, I beg of you, pay attention to your guys. Pay extra attention. I'm getting intuitively to your dreams too. The situation you're in now, you may feel like you're stuck in Scorpio, but you are not stuck in it. You're doing the smart thing by sticking around, waiting to see what the universe presents to you because the universe right now wants you to stay where you are for some reason. There's some lesson you have to learn from whatever this toxicity is. As long as it's not fatal or deadly, you are meant to stay in it. And when the universe wants you out of a situation, the universe always gives you a way out. <clears throat> Cast off the old, reveal your true colors, talents, and gifts to the world. In many spiritual traditions, the snake offers powerful medicine. In tantric teachings, it symbolizes the kundalini, which is the powerful serpentine energy within that allows you to reach your highest spiritual potential. When the sacred one saw a snake in nature or encountered one in a dream, they knew that there was transformation in the air. For me, the snake card not only represents the shedding of old skin, but moving beyond the limitations caused by carrying the venom of negative thoughts about others or the past. <clears throat> Losing my voice from reading all day. The energy of renewal is watching over your life at this time. If for some reason you feel that your true self hasn't been recognized or you've been misread by others, know this energy is now leaving you. As you've been working through your old stories and all the self-limiting beliefs that you've accumulated along the way, you've been peeling away a shield of skin that has created limiting experiences. Your own personal commitment to growth has been recognized and now the external world will begin to reflect all of the work that you've been doing within. 
If you feel someone you love has misunderstood you recently, they will be able to see beyond that if you're willing to recognize your own challenges. This is a time for renewal, abundance, and connection. Let yourself be reborn and celebrated. Okay, so this may be a little confusing. This is telling you don't do anything. This is telling you to shed old skin. This is more talking about your inside, Scorpio. Getting back your soul pieces. When we're in codependent relationships like this, we lose pieces of our soul. And I want to explain, I tried to remember to do this with other cards too. The book reading may be a lot different than what I'm picking up intuitively, but I read intuitively because I can channel. And so if it's a little confusing, just bear with me. In a relationship that is toxic, no matter what kind of relationship it is, we lose pieces of our soul and pieces of ourselves. You're forgetting who you are. You're feeling stuck. You're thinking this is the only way to live. That's why you're not thinking clearly enough to make any sudden moves right now. Your guides are going to come in and start guiding you. They're watching you right now, but they're not going to help you. And the universe is not going to give you opportunity to move on from this situation until you've learned the lesson your soul needs to learn. We're all here because our soul is on a mission, not our body is not our human self, right? So eventually in the next few months, you are going to come to some kind of conclusion and make a rational and reasonable decision on what to do about this. And you're going to be able to move forward. Your guides are going to help you listen. Like I said, for voices, something telling you, uh, you know, not to do something or do something sudden thoughts, look for the snake, listen for the hooting of the owl. For some reason, that's what I'm getting. I see the owl on this card, very powerful, very wise. And then you will know that your spirit guides are with you. You are eventually going to shed this and you're going to become so much stronger because of it. You are undergoing a transformation, Scorpio. You're undergoing an emotional and internal transformation right now. And you need to just wait it out, work through the hurt and pain. But remember, Sometimes we have to play the fool to fool the fool who thinks he's fooling us. And that's exactly what you're doing. You're kind of giving someone enough rope, enough rope to hang themselves, pardon the expression. But once you learn from this experience and you're very close, it's going to happen the end of August through September, you are finally going to learn the lesson you're supposed to learn by being in this miserable job or relationship or having to deal with this miserable family member, whatever the miserable situation is that you're in right now you are going to be moved out of it within the next month, maybe two, I would go forward like three months, but I'm seeing September, I'm hearing September, September, and you are going to come out so much stronger, so much smarter, so much more in tune with yourself. I'm going to pull an Oracle of the Mermaids card because they are a card of action. They're just a cute little card that I like to throw in at the end of my readings. Just something unique that I do that make my readings my own, makes my readings my own. I'm forgetting how to talk. I've been talking up a storm all day doing these readings. All right, Scorpio, let's see what the final message is, what your action message is. Falling in love, kissing the divine in another and in yourself. You are going to have a soul connection and meet a romantic soulmate once you shed this situation with the help of your spirit guides. Look in September, like I said, um, intuitively, if you come across someone that you just feel a connection with, I would just go for it. Obviously, don't cheat on someone if you're in a relationship. That's a part of shedding the skin. But there is a soulmate coming in for you, Scorpio. And I normally don't do this, but this card number is 20. And I'm being told for you to look out for the number 20, whether you see it on a license plate in front of you at the end of a phone number, whether it keeps popping up, it's 425, 26, 20, whatever. When you see the number 20 randomly, you will know that you are on the right path to this. And this love is coming in for you, Scorpio, true love. That's all I have for you. I really hope this helped. If you want a personal reading with me, my email will be in the description box. I really hope to see you again. I hope that you enjoyed this reading and have your best day, have your best night, and I will see you next time, Lord willing. Bye-bye.